Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to share with you a recipe that I have been using recently and loving. It is uh, just a basic recipe for meat bars. This is something that I think originated with a little bit of fit on Instagram and then also made popular by Kelly Hogan over on Instagram. I will link both of them down in the description below, so definitely go check them out. But it's just a technique, basically. It's not really a recipe because you can kind of make it your own with different kinds of meats and different kinds of seasonings, but it's just an easy way to cook meat. I love how simple it is and how I can just throw meat into my air fryer super fast and the results are actually surprisingly delicious. When I first saw the recipe I was like it's just burgers in a different shape which it is but just the technique of cutting it and throwing it in the air fryer it's actually way easier than burgers and I'm finding that I'm doing it more often than making burgers because you hardly even have to touch the meat you don't have to like form it really or anything you just throw it in the air fryer. So like I said, you can make this recipe with infinite different variations of spices and of meats, but I'll show you what I have been loving the most recently, and that is ground chicken. This is 96% lean, 4% fat, and I have found that that's as lean as I wanna go with this recipe. I tried one that was turkey breast with 1% fat, and it was a little hard to eat. I just had this one defrosting in some cool water, which is why it looks so terrible, but this has been my favorite. And then for seasoning, the only thing I've been doing is the Redmond Real Salt Organic Lemon Pepper. Everything is in here to make it delicious. It's got salt, lemon peel, black pepper, garlic, onion, and thyme. And I love the simplicity of just covering it with this, throwing it in the air fryer, and then I have a delicious meal. To shape my bars, all I do is cut it in half this way, and then also cut it in half this way, and that gives me four four ounce bars, because this is a, a one pound package. And then I'm just gonna give it a nice coat of the lemon pepper. I have told you guys recently that my poor air fryer, the handle is broken off because a child dropped it. So that's why it looks so crazy, but still functions. Then I just take one bar at a time and you do kind of have to make sure it doesn't fall apart because especially with this brand and the leaner chicken, it's gonna fall apart more than others probably. So I just take one at a time and I flip them over because I wanna season the other side. So in this size air fryer, which is a six quart instant vortex air fryer, you could probably do two whole pounds of meat bars if you wanted to. And I do like to shape mine nicely so they don't fall apart, but if you were in a hurry or didn't want to touch the meat, you could just dump the tray in there and it would be no problem. Now one more sprinkle of lemon pepper on the bars. And into the air fryer they go. So the cook time is just seven minutes on 400 degrees. And of course, different air fryers can vary. So make sure to check for done doneness in your specific air fryer. But seven minutes is perfect for me. I'm just gonna hit start and I'm not even gonna turn these. I'm just gonna let them cook for seven minutes and they'll come out great. While those are cooking, here are a few other ideas for spice blends. Of course, you can do your own blends if you have certain things that you like. Just garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper would be delicious. Um, I have done the organic season salt from Redmond and it is excellent on the chicken bars. So, so yummy. This is an excellent seasoning for beef. I mean, it'd probably be good on uh, chicken too, but I, I'm imagining some beef bars with the steak blend seasoning. This buttery steakhouse seasoning is really good. It would be good on chicken or on beef or on pork probably. Oh, this ranch seasoning, if you do dairy, this ranch seasoning is so good. And it would probably be good on any meat. Probably on pork it would be really good. Ground pork, if you're doing like a high fat day, some ground pork with ranch seasoning would be really yummy. If you want something spicy, you could do the Creole seasoning. It has really, really good flavor, um, but it is spicy if you use a lot of it. So keep that in mind. 
Other variations you might do, like taco meat bars. You could do like chili powder with some garlic and onion and salt and pepper. You could do Italian with garlic and onion and some Italian seasoning. Really, it's a recipe that you can really get creative with and really make your own, even though it is very, very simple. You can get a lot of variety even within this one simple recipe. All right, those are done. That is what they look like. If any goo comes out like this, I usually just kind of flick it off. It's totally fine. It's just a little bit gross. I am gonna be out and about this afternoon, so that is why I am making these up, so I can just take them along with me. They're super easy to eat, like with your fingers, so it just makes it super convenient. So that is the meat bar recipe. Let me know if you guys have tried it and if you have any favorite like meats and seasoning combinations. I'd love to hear it. I'm always looking for something new to try. Just to give you a quick view of the middle, take a bite here. It stays nice and juicy inside. Super, super nice. Got a little bit of the crisp on the outside and then the chunky lemon pepper gives it some crunch. So, so good.